Hi fellas, welcome to my channel. It's me, Gresha. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you on how the North and South America differ in pronunciation. Okay guys, so when it comes to communication, we use the standard American English, right? I have one concern here. Since every time we use the English language, I always hear that people would actually use this term, slang. And it is quite wrong. Sometimes we encounter some people who would actually use that term whenever they hear someone who speak in English in overacting manner. So in Ilongo or Hiligaynon, they would actually say this. Slang, slang, si mo ba? Kaslang, it bila si mo maghambal. So you see that? So, slang. What does it mean of slang? So, slang is also known as jargon. So, what does it mean? Slang is actually an informal language consisting of words and expressions that are considered not appropriate in formal occasions like in short slang is defined as street words words are actually um made by the bystanders like uh, in our dialect we used to say erpat ermat bro cc even the gay lingos can also be considered as slang words or slang language so, dear fellas, next time you hear someone speak in an overacting manner using the English language, it's not slang, okay? Do not use slang. It's actually twangy. Twangy. You know what? You're speaking in a twangy manner. That's it. Okay, guys, so this time we will proceed on how the North and the South differ in pronunciation. But before that, we need to identify first what are the countries under North America and the South America. Here are the 23 countries in North America. USA, Canada, Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent and Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. South America has 14 countries. Those are Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Chile, Suriname, Bolivia, Guyana, Falkland, and Guinea. <laughs> So that's how the North differ from South America when it comes to pronunciation. It's the R and the way they actually emphasize every word they say. Okay, fellas, so I have prepared 16 English words. It's on my list and I'm going to share it with you. This 16 words or 16 English words are often mispronounced by us. 
Okay, so you heard me, right? You heard me say often. It's actually often in standard English, but in Scottish accent, it's often, often, okay? Okay, guys, so here is the first word. How do you say this? You might say cotton, right? Give me a cotton. Actually, it's not cotton. It should be cotton. So it's silent T. Cotton. Next is how do you say this? So, I actually heard someone say this, supervisor, like supervisor, and I was wondering why. It's actually supervisor, supervisor. Next is, how do you say this? You might say world, right? You would say world. It's not actually world just because it has an O. It should be world. Like world. Next is. How do you say that? It should be months. Months. It's different without an S. If without S, it should be month month <laughs> they are done barking here is the next word how do you say this some of you would actually say iron iron it's not iron it should be iron iron I need to iron my clothes. Iron. Next is, how do you say this? Some of you would actually say usual. The right pronunciation for this is usual. This is my usual thing. Usual. Like, zzz, usual the next word how do you say this so some of you would actually say this tree tree it's wrong you can find the tree outside <laughs> but this one is three three this one is It's not colonel. It's colonel. How about this? How do you read this? Some of you would actually read that as infamous. Infamous. Am I right? But it's wrong. It should be infamous. Infamous. How about this one? How do you read this? It's not choir. It should be choir. 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 We have the next one. How do you read this? So, you might have read that as squirrel, right? But it's wrong. It should be squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. It's not ballet, okay? It's ballet, ballet. Next is, how do you read that? January, you said that, but it should be January, 
January. Okay, this one is an article. We always use this, so how do you read that? The or the? You're actually correct. But it depends on the usage. Shut up, I'm busy. Shut the fuck up! This article is pronounced as the when it follows a word which begins with a consonant sound like these examples. The grass, the world, the love. It is pronounced as the when it follows a word which begins with a vowel sound like these examples. The apple, the hour, the eyes. How about this word? You said, fortunately? No, it should be fortunately. Fortunately. How about this word? How would you read this? Some of you might have said, pronunciation. But it should be, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay, so here you are. So that only means that you really watch my video till the end. And here is your uh, one cool fact trivia. Okay guys, so thank you so much. Those are the words that we often mispronounce. So hopefully uh, now you are able to say those words correctly whenever you're using the English language and you are having a conversation with someone else. Okay guys, so that's all for this afternoon and hopefully you have learned something from me and that really makes me happy. So thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel. For those who wasn't able to subscribe yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I have new videos here. So thank you so much. Have a great day ahead.